Hi everyone, this is a video about this Bluetooth amplifier rated as at 2 times 15 watts and the intake of DC power is between 10 to 25 volts and it has to be run for the full effect at 2 amps. So uh, I purchased this from China and it took nearly f more than 40 days to arrive and I am really happy about this purchase. I have tested this item with different range of speakers and I'm very excited to use this at one of my projects in the future and share it with you guys. And the price of this was £4.50. I purchased two of them and I am really happy. And uh, I have to apologize about the background noise. Some construction is war, uh, going on in the background and I have no power over those. So we are going swiftly to... Uh, get on with this video uh, to avoid some people to get annoyed <laughs> by how slow I'm talking or how slow this video is going to uh, be uh, carried out. Anyhow, uh, if you are interested to purchase this item, I'm going to show you where to purchase this and we are going to carry out the test as well. So I set up everything and I see you in a second. I am back, everything is set up and this is the item listed on eBay. I have purchased two of them at this price and the listing is Digital Wireless Bluetooth TPA 3110 2 times 15 watt stereo audio power amplifier board dual uh, dual speaker maybe they, they mean and the uh, seller is this company chips fans 82838 and they are really good I do not recommend any seller but I recommend items here uh, as I mentioned before, this one uh, runs between 10 to 25 volt, and this is one of the downsides of this unit because most of the power banks uh, 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 provide 5 volts, and some of the Bluetooth speakers they um, they can be run by power banks. So this is 10 volt. Uh, you have to minimum of 10 volts and you can use the uh, step up buck converters from 5 volt to 12 volts but you have to use the output of uh, those power banks that they are capable of 2 amp or more we are going to run this via this power pack that I have made it uh, takes uh, 3 18650 batteries and um, first that you connect this is going to greet you with a uh, the Bluetooth device is ready to pair normal the pairing the Bluetooth device is connected uh, successfully uh, normal pairing uh, you know dialogue and is paired right now and Something that uh, I wasn't sure about is it was the Bluetooth, uh, the type of the Bluetooth that is in here, but unfortunately it doesn't say what sort of Bluetooth we have here, 4.2 or 4.0 or whatever, and this is the description of this. If you want, you can pause it and it takes speakers up to 10 ohms impedance of 468 up to 10 
and the range of the Bluetooth is 10 meter. I have tested it and it's true and two times 15 watts each channels and uh, the pins and so on you can pause it and uh, read through this anyhow we are going to play a music uh, which is the copyright free and see how it goes I lower the volume to two one third and then we play a song This is the song Maxi Play One, non copyright song. And take a listen. Listening. And uh, the volume was about two thirds, and uh, this one, uh, these speakers, they are two uh, five watts speaker at four ohms. They are not very strong. They cannot take the full power of this uh, amplifier. And um, you heard the song, and I have tried this with uh, much uh, greater speakers and it it works flawlessly and i fully recommend this uh amp bluetooth amplifier and i hope you enjoyed my video and if you have any questions about this uh, you just uh, leave a comment down below and i get back to you as soon as i can and maybe i come back to you in the future with a project that i am about to uh, use these uh, Bluetooth amplifier. Uh, so, for the time being, until my next video, take care of yourself and each other and have a great time.